Hello everyone. In this quick video, I would like to talk about a new AWS Solution Architect Associate exam, which is one of the famous and most favorite exam for the cloud learner. They want to start their cloud certification journey and Amazon recently updated that exam and last week I sat for that exam. So this one will be, uh, this video one will be very quick and shorter one because a uh, day before yesterday I have uh, uh, done a live streaming which is an hour long you can follow that I will drop that link in the description but in this video I am not going to show any presentation but just a quick uh, you know the foundation setup if you are planning for the exam so AWS regularly updated their exam because as the services get updated so they want to test this exam so that the newer services can be tested and a learner as a learner we will get a chance to go through those services because the whole idea for the certification is that we will push ourselves to learn the things and to go through and have a, some hands-on experience and which can be translated into the exam questions these are not academics exam so expect the technical scenario and i really appreciate the aws team to update this exam because this exam is no longer uh, you know a very simple and straightforward and about fact and figures but it is more on the technical front now it is covering really the mindset of an architect it is even i feel that covering a gap between the previous aws uh, version of the same exam versus the professional level exam i sat for the previous version even the all previous version of exams i sat for the first one back in december 2016 and the another one the v2 or which is still available but that is going to remove from the catalog uh, mostly by the end of july this year 2020 so i suggest if you are planning to appear for exam don't go for the older one go for the latest one the latest one uh, available since March 22, 2020. So start and go for that. I just want to test to see and feel what are the differences and these are my quick thoughts. So first of all, the storage is the biggest part in this exam. I found like half of the, uh, you know, questions or half of the exam full of storage, different kind of storage, S3, S3 lifecycle, really need to understand the even the different classes of S3, even the newer one, this that is a single I, uh, single availability zone class is also I found in couple of options. So really understand the difference between and how those classes are working and EBS, not only from the single EBS, but you will be able to see the all kind of classes you need to understand where the gp2 and provisioned iops as well as the cold one as well as the throughput one fit into picture and most important the instant store instant store is the one of the important or uh, a quick tip is if you want to get a maximum iops and maximum performance so instant store is the best option if it is only required for the temporary purpose there is no persistence or no data permanently storage on the instant store so you really need to know where this will fit and as well as you can do the RAID part like RAID 0, RAID 1 or RAID 5 if it is required if you understand about all the RAID thing but RAID 0 is something which will give you the maximum IOPS performance so keep remember these tips and then coming to the another important part EC2 it is important you not really need to you not only need to understand from the technical front but you really need to understand from the pricing front also i, I was surprised i got really confused with the one question so but i try to understand from my experience because uh, i am playing with the pricing on my daily basis so there are a couple of tricks again you really need to understand the tricks and, and important networking part I believe this time the networking, I consider networking CloudFront, VPC and Route 53. This time I am not able to see that much of questions in the previous version which I set for even December 2019 for that also the video is on my channel. I will drop that link also in the description. You can, if you really want to do the comparison, uh, I believe it will be helpful if you go through the V2 and then the V3, this one video as well as again the deep type one uh, live stream uh, I have done. So I will drop those all those link uh, in the description so you can compare and you can create your mindset around that before preparing and you know spending your time and energy as well as the money to, for the preparation. 
you really need to understand a lot of things so uh, talking about the networking this time i don't found too much of you know deep and vpc part and route 53 few one or two kind of like question from route 53 i was able to see and uh, CloudFront, yes, you really need to understand something important about CloudFront, which is Lambda at the edge. Maybe just a high level, not a deep level that how Lambda at the edge will work, but maybe just have a look about the, get an idea what is the purpose and function of that. And the databases part, it's, this is a time it is covering, you will be able to see something Aurora serverless. Try to understand the use case, whether for the long term, Aurora serverless will fit or not or whether uh, maybe the RDS will fit or maybe database on EC2 will fit. You really need to understand the catch and the caveat especially on the RDS side and database side. Read replica versus multi availability zone. One is for the performance, one is for the high availability. So keep remember those are the small small tips which will be important in the form of VPC. Keep remember NAT gateway and bastion as well as NAT on EC2. Keep remember all those. These are the small small things which will obviously lead to the correct answer and which will make sure your you know scores will be high. I am not always in the favor of the scores. Even I never reveal my scores because it doesn't mean whether you get a passing score or the perfect score. It will not, you know, justify that where like a person be in uh, that a perfect score person will be much more super duper expert than the passing score or nearby passing score. So don't judge on the scores part. It doesn't matter. It's all about what are the concept you have learned and what are the things is clarified and in on your tips, right? And apart from that, other topics like uh, cache, where the cache will work, DynamoDB, you need to know little bit of function of DynamoDB as well as DAX, the DynamoDB caching a service DAX. Just go through that. You really need to understand on that part. And maybe where the snowball or uh, snowmobile will fit in the scenario. I found a couple of like one or two questions, not more than that, but the scenarios will be different. Uh, uh, scenarios will be definitely in the exam. So quickly now I want to share that I found that this exam will be around 30 to 35 question is a very straightforward if you really know the basics and concepts. 15 to 20 is a medium level I can say where you really need to understand you know uh, output of a one service or maybe one thing will be the input for the another service something like that if you understand it, if you can imagine the scenario or if you really architect with your own hands on experience those will be also maybe considered as a easy but I am putting this that uh, you know 15 to 20 question in the medium level part and the rest 15 or 10 to 15 question i think it is considerably very well uh, confusing aws try their best to to trick again with the language you really need to know how to read the question most important thing not every solution is cost effective i would like to tell you that until unless it is not mentioned as a requirement in the question don't find or don't stay with the most cheapest solution in the option it will lead to the wrong one right so i believe that is enough to understand more detailed video will be in the uh, description now quickly i want to show some sources so first of all another thing is don't try to figure out what are the practice or the you know dumps nowadays these kind of things are going i'm, I'm a bit against on that just figure out this this thing and i believe these if you really work on that then i believe these 10 questions will be more than enough for the practice it's all about how you understand so these are the sample question and the answers are given at the last page but once you prepare try to learn all those things and try to mark your question and then clarify it with the answers given another thing again i'm not affiliate to anyone but i found uh, this course is the best right now in the market because this guy, I followed this guy from last couple of years and uh, I followed his course on a, a different platform. I have not personally followed the whole course. Even I purchased after passing the exam because it's always so there is always a room to learn. It's not, not about just passing exam. That is just a one step. But to be an architect, to understand more deeply all those things. So just go through this course, Adrian Cantrell. I'm personally suggesting that because I learned from this person a lot from their other courses. So now he made this as an independent course or 
you can see learn.cantrail.io it's a one time investment and uh, i see the playlist is damn good even i i have just completed maybe less than 10% because i want to see couple of new things this uh, guy in this new course covered very well like step functions all those definitions i found a very 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 good way he covered so go for that course you don't need to confuse yourself with the multiple uh, courses and multiple resources that lead to be the biggest confusion i found in my career that having a multiple resources but don't know how to use it it properly so these are my thoughts and uh, with the final thoughts i would like to share practice maybe if you love to read the documentation go for that no one is stopping you but don't think that just passing exam will lead to a good job or a good career you really need to have a practice and you need to understand lot of ins and out this is just a entry level and you know the starting phase the things and the uh, the career opportunity will be much much more complex and much much more at a higher level exams are just validating that yes the bare minimum efforts you are putting trying to learn that uh, about that platform so if you guys have any question feel free to drop in the comments or reach out to me on my social media profiles or or you can uh, drop me a email at chirag@dconcloud.com and please share this video in your circle and subscribe to my channel more content is coming soon take care